Joey Cora spent the majority of 11 seasons in the major leagues, mostly at second base. He was an all-star in 1997, hitting 300, and finished his career with a lifetime average of 277. Following his career as a player, he has held several major and minor league positions and is currently the manager of the El Tuna Curve, the AA affiliate of the Pittsburgh Pirates. He joined Joe for the two-minute timeout extra innings to discuss his life in baseball and began by explaining how his baseball career got started. Well, in Puerto Rico, I was fortunate enough that my dad was one of the leaders of the Little League teams there when I was growing up in Caguas, Puerto Rico. And so I've been around baseball all my life. He was a sport keeper and uh, he worked for the media for one of the winning ball teams there in Puerto Rico. First of all, I went to school here in Vanderbilt University in Nashville, the baseball scholarship, and then after that, I sent pros. Baseball has been with me just about all my life. You were drafted by the Padres in the first round. When you're in the minors, were there times where you sort of wondered if you were going to make it? A lot of guys talk about low points, and you're obviously managing now, and you see guys who hit high points and low points. Were there times when you said, it's tough for me? I don't think I said that to myself at the beginning of my career as a minor leaguer. I was wondering whether I was big enough and strong enough to make it because obviously I'm not a big dude. As the time went by, then I was wondering whether I was going to be able to stick in the major leagues for a while, and that was my goal. Yeah, I had my doubts. Thank God the people around me, family, friends, they stuck with me and uh, they encouraged me a lot to keep working and keep going at it. I can say I made it, so it was a good experience. Your rookie year, 1987, you hit 237. Do you think another year in the minors might have helped you, or do you think you were ready? Uh, we all think that we're ready. I think once we get drafted, think uh, at the time you think you're ready, whether you're 18 or 21 or whatever it is, you think you're ready to go. And then looking back at it, I probably needed a little bit more time, more and more seasoning. At the time, I didn't think about that. I thought I was ready, definitely. When you were traded to the White Sox. What were your feelings about being traded? A lot of guys, they came up with one organization, have friends there. Then you're traded. Did you look at that as an opportunity or, or did that hurt your feelings? No, I, I look at that one as an opportunity to start over uh, with a new organization maybe getting a little bit more chances to play and I'm being in the big leagues. I did look at it as an opportunity. I was fortunate enough that I, when I got traded to the White Sox, that's when I met Ozzy Gee in, in 91 and we became best friends ever since. It was a great opportunity, not only growing up as a player, but as a person with him right next to me. You had a great year in 1997 and guys talk about the fact that the ball looks like a beach ball sometimes. Of course, when they're not hitting, it looks like a golf ball or smaller. What was working for you back then? You had a terrific year. You hit 300. I think that the biggest difference that year was that I was able to find my stride as a right-handed hitter. Being a switch hitter, it's tough to keep it going both sides of the play. But that year, it worked really, really well as a right-handed hitter. That's where the average went up a little bit. I mean, even the, that's the year I hit the most homers, too. The difference was that I hit a few as a right-handed. That was the only year that I hit a right-handed. So I thought that was the biggest difference. Everything came together. Experience, body, mind, everything. Everything came together at once, and it was a nice year for us. You were a fan favorite in Seattle, and I saw photos. Women had signs, Joey, please marry me. That must have been difficult to concentrate. <laughs> oh, well, uh, good old days, brother. Good old days. <laughs> you were out of baseball at 33. What happened? That's really young for a guy to be out of baseball. What happened to you? Well, I did have a knee injury on uh, my left, and I have a replacement bionic at knee right now. That's the way I call it, that I just couldn't do it anymore. That's the way it goes. That's the story. Was that hard for you to accept that? Was that tough for you? It wasn't because I just couldn't perform anymore. It was very simple. If you want to be a big leader, you got to be able to perform at a high level every single day. Yeah, I just couldn't do it. I just couldn't go out there and every day and perform. And it was very simple to me. Cut, I cut and dry and move on because physically I couldn't do it anymore. One of the things you could do was play ping pong against Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan was around when you were with the White Sox. What was that experience like? You had some great ping pong games. Is that true? <laughs> it, it was fun. It was uh, that year he worked out with us. It was fun. Uh, even though he was trying to play baseball, but he's an icon. He was an icon then too. And we all learned him with him. Not not about baseball, obviously. I think uh, we all were better than him, baseball wise. But we learned about how much of a competitor he is and what drives him and how hard he works. We enjoyed having Michael around that year. 
were you thinking when you were playing about coaching and why did you decide to stay in yes. baseball? This is the way I tell people about this. Uh, when I was growing up, I wasn't thinking, a lot of people think about being a big league ball player. I always saw myself being a coach or a manager when I was growing up, when I was eight, nine years old. This is what really drives me, being a coach, being a manager, helping people. At this moment, helping these kids try to get to where I've been in the big league. But that was my dream. My dream was an error, being a big league player. My dream always was being a big league manager, a big league coach, a professional manager. I'm living my dream right now. It was fun to be a player, no doubt about it. But this is what I really, really wanted to do all the whole time in baseball. Joey, thanks a lot. Good luck. We'll talk down the road. All right, Joe. Take care. We'll see you later.